इन्वेस्टमेंट करना है एस आई पी म्यूचुअल फंड स्टॉक सो मेनी इंस्ट्रूमेंट आर नाउ अवेलेबल तो अभी सबको ये तो पता चल गया है कि अपने को इन्वेस्टमेंट करना है बट फॉर मेनी ऑफ दीज इन्वेस्टमेंट स्पेशली इफ यू आर अ फ्रेशर आप स्टूडेंट हैं तो आपके लिए बहुत मुश्किल हो जाता है कि इतने कम अमाउंट में इन्वेस्टमेंट कैसे करेंगे सो द नेक्स्ट फाउंडर एट वी आर हैविंग टूडे उन्होंने एक ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म बनाया है जिससे आप वन रुपीज से लेकर टेन रुपीज तक के भी इन्वेस्टमेंट कर सकते हैं और आप देख सकते हैं कि हाउ ग्रेजुअली दैट स्मॉल स्मॉल अमाउंट कलेक्ट टूगेदर टू बिकम अ बिग सम सो ज्वाइन मी इन दिस टॉक एंड वी विल वेलकम द फाउंडर्स ऑफ दिस Hi Sai and Satyajit welcome Hi. so how yeah let's start with batao thoda sa like about decimal how you came up to the idea and what led you to building decimal and you know start building it uh, you know putting your lives on that idea sure uh, so decimal uh, i mean the concept is fairly simple it's a round up investing app uh karta kya hai ki if you go and buy a cup of coffee and pay by a any digital medium upi debit card credit card the amount getting deducted from your account is rounded up to the nearest 10 so 50 rupees deduct ho jayenge 45 rupees will go towards the coffee the additional 5 rupees is invested on in your behalf so at any given point any transaction that you do 4 5 3 10 rupees keep getting invested so that's basically uh, you know the concept of decimal uh, anything you add yeah i mean uh, it's essentially uh, something that's meant to be a part of your lifestyle uh we don't want you changing the way you uh behave or the way you spend right. but it's essentially some sort of an you know is just a simple and automatic way of making doing your investments mm-hmm. so no lifestyle changes no large sums just minor changes you go about living your life the way you usually do mm-hmm. and we just take care of your investments for you right right so guys i have played with decimal app and i can tell you that it seems so magical now and so smooth like the whole interface uh, you know is so meticulous but i know ke startups do not start so smooth so tell us more ke wo start kaise thi aap log kaise is idea par pahunche what led you to start building and so on wo thoda sa batao i'll tell you the first half of the story about how we stumbled upon the idea uh, from the journey of going from not being so smooth to being smooth i think uh, he's the best person to take you through that uh, but um, i used to run an agtech startup uh, which i exited in december 2019 uh, i come from a finance background ca cfa but fintech as an industry was still fairly new to me mm-hmm. uh, it was during that time that i was approached by a fintech company to come and head their strategy team um, i had no background about fintech so i started researching about what has been india's growth journey what are the best case practices across the world and that's when i came across you know couple of striking facts primarily that we are the youngest country in the world uh, just between 18 to 28 we had 367 million kids uh, while this generation was extremely tech savvy they were all transacting digitally uh, they were still very disciplined in disciplined about their finances and uh, that got me thinking there's got to be a better way Uh, right because i don't think we ever had to solve for intent if you stop any 21 year old and if you ask him or her you know whether you should invest everyone says yes the ball drops when you ask them if they do it right uh, so i think that the intent was always there uh, we just needed to find a smoother way to go about it a better way to go about it yeah. right and that's where i think decimal fits in perfectly where it integrates into your lifestyle it's not something which requires any conscious change uh, like as i just said but yeah the second half of how it went from uh, you know actually building the application i think he's the best person to take it through yeah i mean so from an app standpoint what you see today and what you will love is not what it was right like when we started off so it's gone through so many iterations uh something that we take very uh, seriously is customer feedback so customer ki suno to aaj ja ke aapko you know you found it magical like right. you said but uh, it's gone through a lot of stages uh, 
and not just from that standpoint but also you know we are dealing with the fintech space in in the country which is in which regulations keep changing on a very you know daily basis you won't know tomorrow morning uh, you know a new regulation is passed you need to abide by that and you know we've gone through a lot of changes mm-hmm. uh, with respect to that also but the core uh, aim mm-hmm. of everyone within the team was to ensure uh, that it is simple it's automatic it's simple so we took our uh, we took a little bit of time to fi- uh, you know uh, make that as smooth as possible right and it is what it is uh, today so yeah it's been a lot of up and down but hey aaj jo hai that is that's a result of all of those right right uh, so uh, let's uh, you know take this thought further uh, about customer feedback because i know today everybody knows that you have to take customer feedback so kind of theory is clear to all and everyone so but can you tell us some of the practical aspects of you know how you take that customer feedback and then what is the process that you use to make sure that that customer feedback really reaches the right people in the team or you are able to do some actionable aspects around it so what's the uh, what's the process around it at testing so uh, just to uh, answer that right we have like a very uh, small team right like uh, we have a lean team uh, and uh, everyone does customer calls like as as a mandate everyone does customer calls okay. it's only if me like just because i am uh, uh, doing engineering it does not mean that i cannot talk to a customer right it's important that everyone speaks to the customer understands what you know what where they're facing an issue mm-hmm. right and then what happens is generally we sit down to discuss all of this mm-hmm. uh, you know there are certain important uh, things which which makes sense from a, a customer feed, feedback perspective right and that is when you feel ki acha ha ye aur aasan ho sakta hai mm-hmm. so that's when that becomes sort of a feature and then you know we work on it and of course the entire uh, design to build a uh, process is is the same as it is anywhere else right but uh, the point is uh, every every call every discussion is discussed uh, within the team mm-hmm. uh, you know we make it a point to do calls like uh, uh, you know at least each of us do like a, a minimum of 20 calls per week right to understand what the customer is going through oh, and nice. you know mm-hmm. so that's a very critical aspect of how we work right because we want to know we want to make the product the best version of uh, itself right and that is only possible when you listen to what your end customer is saying so that is basically how we go about it i think to take that further it um, it's a very important part of uh, building a product and uh, i think just let's focus on this for a bit uh, it's very important to understand who we're building it for right and one philosophy or you know a thought process that we've always abided by is 10 people sitting in a conference room cannot dictate what the world wants right i think uh, you know whatever we build mm-hmm. uh, at the end of the day is based on hypothesis mm-hmm. and those have to be validated and the only way to validate that is through that feedback mm-hmm. uh, so like so i mentioned that it's mandated for everyone to do customer calls you are at the end of the day building for those people mm-hmm. you need to know what they're thinking mm-hmm. right and it's the only way that the product keeps getting better mm-hmm. um to give you an understanding like you know how that has actually i think it becomes everyone says yes customer feedback mm-hmm. but how that has actually translated into the product today for example is say we relaunched the app on the 26th of december uh in jan when we were doing about 30 40000 uh worth of investment per day mm-hmm. uh we were getting on an average about 45 calls mm-hmm. right uh today we're closing calls as in support calls yeah okay. asking questions okay. uh you know it could be what is decimal or okay. you know how is this okay. working inquiries and paise mere kat gaye okay. kaise nahi kate kya okay. ho raha hai right so about 45 was the average number okay. in january uh doing the scale was at 30000 mm-hmm. investment yeah. per day today we're at an investment of 10 and a half lakhs per day oh, right nice. the average customer calls today mm-hmm. is 6 Oh, nice. right so where we've that scale has become mm-hmm. over 100x but this has come down uh you know to 6 so how does how does that happen right is 
on a daily basis if you take that customer feedback right so what we started doing is we started bucketing all of the queries all of the uh, feedback mm-hmm. that we get into uh, you know what is related to which feature right. uh, what is working what is a pro- mm-hmm. you know problem with onboarding what was just a technical glitch right. once we start segregating all of this on a week on week basis we map this up mm-hmm. right and we see then we take the biggest uh, two problem statements mm-hmm. right and we try to solve for that through the product mm-hmm. once we've tried to solve for that through the product is the next two weeks mm-hmm. we want to see a line graph dipping there in the number of queries mm-hmm. if that's not happened mm-hmm. then you know you've not solved for solved it, it yeah. then you need to try another way right so i think shipping the product every week mm-hmm. uh, the agility to uh, constantly keep uh you know testing trying mm-hmm. till you reach something uh, this is what i think is enabled through really listening to your consumers and i think that's something that has tremendously helped us mm-hmm. uh you know being a small team of about 11 people you know we would have added another 10 people also in customer service uh moving from that scale of 30000 to 10 and a half lakhs today and we are projecting it to go up to about 50 lakhs in the, over the next 60 days mm-hmm. we wouldn't have been able to manage that skill mm-hmm. right and once a user has faced a problem mm-hmm. calls you but cannot get through to you mm-hmm. right right for the user that the app doesn't work right. right and and that's where your entire negative feedback right. also starts uh, so i think that's very critical uh, that's something that we take very seriously um, and and you know we i wouldn't say we've perfected that process of the entire feedback uh, to shipping the product but uh, but i think you know we're in the process of capitalizing that okay nice yeah i i think that's a strong indication that you've shared here about customer feedback and then basically that's a good metric to see that how yeah. you know the number of uh, support ask basically are coming down over a period of time so what i understand is this product you know especially is around gen z which is like Satyajit, you mentioned, you know, is the biggest demographic and such a golden opportunity, especially in India today. I believe that you know we guys, as founders, for most of us, we are ourselves not Gen Z, but you're building for Gen Z. So how do you really connect that gap? And then what were your learnings about building a product around Gen Z? So I think uh, you know people who. are gen z today right or people who are in this age bracket of 21 to 25 uh, we are not in that age bracket but i think uh, even when we were in that age bracket i don't think we did things much differently uh, you know what generally happens with uh, this audience is um, they've just started earning uh, right there is some form of uh, you know uh, independence that's coming uh, there's also that independence is also layered with a form of rebellion uh, right and the options of the world have just opened up for them right where uh, i think up until thoda graduation before that also school it's a little bit of a uh, you know your 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 parents are supporting you right to uh, thoda ek uh, protected environment hota hai but in uh, india to acha khasa protection hota hai correct or plus kya hota hai ki आप अभी तक शायद पॉकेट मनी ही चल रहा है आपका राइट right? uh, तो आंसरेबल हो काफी चीजों के लिए बट uh, जैसे ही आपकी पहली जॉब लग जाती है आपकी तनखा आ रही है पच्चीस हजार आ रही है बीस हजार आ रही है दस हजार आ रही है राइट बट दैट्स योर ओन मनी राइट आई डोंट थिंक योर पेरेंट्स आर रियली आस्किंग यू क्वेश्चन अबाउट वॉट यूर डूइंग सो द वर्ल्ड इज जस्ट ओपनिंग अपट वर्ल्ड ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज इज ओपनिंग अपन दैट वर्ल्ड ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज ओपन अप राइट आई थिंक इट्स वेरी इजी ऑल्सो टू गेट very confused right. uh, so in that age we also become very flirtatious right. uh, in terms of uh, you know you want to try a lot of things you want to try everything so one thing that uh, you know very, we were very particular about while building the product was that we needed to automate the entire process mm-hmm. right as soon as kya hota hai uh, first of jan ko ya second of jan ko sab log gym jate hai but 16 jan ko koi nahi jata right, right? the novelty of something new uh dies out very fast right so until and unless the entire process is automated mm-hmm. it's not going to stick mm-hmm. right and for someone today what happens is uh in fintech or any app ecosystem right 
the download numbers are a vanity metric mm-hmm. right it's about how many people actually Use daily transact okay. right what is the retention rate uh, over 30 days what is the retention rate how long is that user staying with yeah. you so just by automating the entire process mm-hmm. plus at any given time right mm-hmm. say you bought that coffee going back to the first example of 45 rupees jab wo additional 5 rupees katta na it does not pinch my pocket mm-hmm. right so there's never a motivation to really open the app mm-hmm. and delete or mm-hmm. pause the account kyunki bahut paise ja rahe right so if you've been able to automate that process once the entire setup is done okay. in the start right after that then it just all is happening in the background and i thought that that user experience uh, was very very important mm-hmm. uh, and i think that came from an understanding of uh, you know the entire audience research the target group research that we had done and uh, i think i think that was a result of uh, that piece mm-hmm. So I'll uh, take this thought further about the uh, audience and market research that you did. So uh, can you break down a bit about the steps that you took to, you know, to get to the point that, okay, this is going to be my minimum viable product or this is how, or these are the features I would launch with and so on. And then I'd also like to know a bit on the technology roadmap during that period. Because sure. one other thing that I'll add is that especially from the fintech perspective because i think fintech has its own set of challenges that i don't think if you are building a consumer app and you are building a fintech app you know the challenges become a bit different for fintech because of the compliances and other stuff so how did you yeah so i think um, one is that this is not a novel idea uh, this ground up investing as a concept has done phenomenally well in the western markets uh, it's just that it was uh, I mean, India was not right for a product like this uh, up until now. Uh, today is it coincides perfectly with being the youngest audience. Mm-hmm. Plus, all of us uh, transacting digitally before this, we were cash driven economy. Uh, I feel just because something has worked in another market does not necessarily mean that it will work in our market. Uh, so, which is why before really building out a product, right before starting to ship. uh building a product is expensive mm-hmm. um i feel that everyone should find a way to run some low fidelity experiment mm-hmm. right uh, for us honestly uh my first thought mm-hmm. right was this idea is great mm-hmm. in the us what used to happen was it used to get rounded up to the nearest one right so if it's a bought something worth uh, you know 210 mm-hmm. 90 cents is a big amount right it's not uh 9 rupees yeah. right so that difference was there and i used to always feel that spare change would amount to about 100 150 rupees right. in a month right now 100 rupees ke liye main ek app thodi na use karunga right main ek 100 rupees ki note nikal ke de dunga right. uh, so that was my first thought so we had a series of questions and what we started doing was we found very very low fidelity zero cost experiments on how do we do this so my sister was in that age bracket so what i did was i contacted all of my sister's friends a lot of my friends who had siblings who were younger i started contacting all of them right uh, this was also during the lockdown when you know colleges were not on people just had a lot of time so someone who would have given me 15 minutes started giving me 45 minutes uh, something that worked in our favor and i spoke to 193 people uh, during that time uh, about how you know about money about psychology about how they go about you know what do they think about money what do they think about investments what are the reasons that uh, you know they don't invest and i started asking them if they could share their bank statements with me right pre lockdown uh, bank statements with me 131 people shared their bank statements with me and after which i started calculating is if this app existed mm-hmm. and if they were users ye har transaction se agar you know you start rounding up to the nearest 10 kitna bachega ek mahine mein the number of transactions people were doing is astounding right even today on the app we have 4.16 is the average number of transactions a person does in a day right uh, so that averages started coming up to about 1200 1250 rupees right and then it was you know then it made sense yeah agar 1200 से 1500 अगर हम सेव कर पा रहे इन्वेस्ट कर पा रहे एक महीने में तो 
over a year, that's about 18,000 rupees, right? For a 21 year old, an 18,000 rupee investment, which otherwise he would have, he or she would have not had, right? Uh, That can mean a down payment for a bike. It can mean uh, a good phone, right? Which otherwise he or she would have had to go back to their parents or probably not buy. If you can help a young person buy his or her own bike, right? Without pinching their pocket Mm -hmm. or them having to turn to their parents, Mm -hmm. you establish a relationship of trust. Mm -hmm. And then you can take them onto the path of long term investing, Mm -hmm. right? So, a lot of uh, questions and, uh, you know, uh, hypothesis that we had, uh, we found a lot of low fidelity experiments like this uh, to start with. And uh, I think only after we built conviction. Uh, was when we actually started, you know, uh, tinkering from a tech standpoint. But there are lots of ways that you can, you know, uh, you don't really need to start building something or invest a lot of money mm-hmm. to just get at least the initial yeah. understanding whether the product will work or not. Okay. But yeah, I, mean, I think you can add from a yeah. tech standpoint of when we started. Yeah, definitely. So once we started, it was all about, uh, you know, the normal questions that everyone has like what is the right stack to right. choose uh, there are certain uh, ecosystem level challenges mm-hmm. how do you deal with that right mm-hmm. because that uh, uh, happens to be a blind spot for most people mm-hmm. uh, but you know we managed to do uh, justice over there as well and we you know we had the right partners in place and uh, partnerships in place and we could we could uh, you know proceed with our uh, uh, you know uh, you know so we decided that, you know, it had to be sort of a, uh, to go a little more technical into this, it had to be like a hybrid app only mm-hmm. because uh, building separately for Android and iOS was something that was very uh, expensive, uh, not not feasible at that point in time. So the conscious decision was to look for a hybrid model to sort of build and like we, we chose our tech stack accordingly and, you know, it's worked out in our favor uh, mm-hmm. greatly so far. and. You know, it's it's a journey, right? You go POC by POC at that stage and you, you try to nail like certain aspects of, you know, what is important and is it possible to do uh, over here? Is it scalable? Uh, you know, so all of those things, POC by POC, uh, you you start working on them and then it's, it's about stitching them and then creating that experience, right? So uh, overall, yeah, that's the journey from a tech standpoint that you would have to take. And also... Uh, because we're talking about technology at that point, since we're a fintech app, security is absolutely important, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so that is something that we take very seriously and mm-hmm. you know, you, you need to ensure that everything is on point with respect to security and uh, that is what we have, uh, you know, guaranteed from day yes. one and it's taken care of. You need to give that enough confidence to the Definitely. user who's ready to yeah. share their wallet with you. Absolutely. So guys, looking back, uh, uh, would you like to share some of these three or four interesting bets that you took, maybe fired or misfired, both on business or technology side that you can remember in your story? Uh, so, multiple, right? Uh, but I think uh, one of the major things, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about one major one, right? Um, and I think, you know, uh, worked out well nice. for us was we raised our round in June of last year, uh, and when we raised around, uh, we actually changed the game a little, where we raised a lot from content creators. Okay. Uh, so all likes of uh, you know, there's Zakir Khan, Huan Ba, Raj Shumani, Ranbir Alabadia, all are on the cap table, right? But if you see, there's been absolutely no content creation that has happened from any of these guys. Uh, you know, they've not put up anything on their feeds. There's absolutely nothing, uh, you know, up until now. The reason for that, right, it was very easy for us to, you know, just call them up and say, you know, just put up a story. Yeah. Uh, ye ek tagline hai, iske around a campaign banate. Why don't you shoot a video? Uh, let's upload it. We'll ask all of the others also. The reason to not get anything made was a conscious decision Mm -hmm. because we always thought that we'll get distribution Mm -hmm. but if the product is not ready right and if the product will come one day at the end of the day if the product doesn't answer right up download numbers layout 
but after that then those people will leave mm-hmm. right and that's that's of no use uh, so i think from the start having a very product centric mm-hmm. approach uh, is something that has helped us uh, we've taken our time uh, you know to ship or to get to that mm-hmm. you know uh, in a way perfect that product uh, make it get it to the state where we're at today uh, we've been you know people have said we're lagging we're uh, you know we're slow a foundation to strong kar rahe ho basically i think that's very very important aapko wo base strong karna bahut zaruri hai aur abhi log usi ke bare mein baat kar rahe hain ki you have to abhi aap dekho you have to have the foundation right so 26 tarikh ko agar hum 26 tarikh 26 december ko humne launch kiya it's been about pagad lo 120 days right 25 tarikh ko we were doing about 8 and a half or 1000 rupees in investments uh today we're doing 10 and a half lakhs per day right so that scale in the last 100 120 days right has only been possible because of the foundation being that strong right because of and you don't product. have to increase the team or you don't have to suddenly right. you well, know still at business. about 11 people that like, like the same kind of ecosystem yeah with people. 11 people with tech marketing product everyone right. customer relations everyone just 11 people and uh, we've been able to get that scale right uh, we're targeting mm-hmm. to take this up to about 50 lakhs uh, over the next 60 days um, and i think that was something that has worked out uh, very well for us um, it was a gamble mm-hmm. at that time uh, you know there's this thing of uh, you know ship faster yeah. uh, break fast uh, but i think we were very very committed to delivering a good product and uh, if that took longer mm-hmm. if that meant it was going to take longer then you know that was a gamble that we were ready to take uh, it's something that has worked out mm-hmm. well for us uh, all again everything uh, is you can only look back in hindsight and say was the right decision or wasn't the right decision uh, so this is one of those uh, things for sure perfect i think it has to relate with ke like don't get distracted distracted by the noise or the thing yeah, i think that's very very important so right on, also yeah. kya ho jata hai uh, you know when you have so many creators right uh we have about uh, 15 16 creators right. on the gap table uh i think that temptation it is easy is to temptation yeah. hota hai yeah. right uh kya ki hai itna fire power hai right. itna distribution power hai right. uh you know uh investors will also ask you fellow founders will also ask you kya kar you know like then you know it's about yaar shayad nahi ho raha hai yeah you know these guys are just lazy they're not agile enough yeah. Yeah, right uh but i think internally we knew what we were doing uh we had that faith in ourselves uh and i think we didn't give in to that temptation uh at that point and i think that was very important i mean uh this is one of the only examples that's coming to my mind currently but like he touched upon like a very important point right like uh you know you have to uh you know we always build to the focus of you know we want to build the best version of the product that is out there right so wo focus maintain rakhna throughout with like you know it's easy to get distracted uh, but uh, you know we 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 still stick to it uh, you know we still follow those rules because it's worked for us uh, and uh, uh, that is i feel very important ki uh, you know Uh, you have a lean team you have a uh, you know a limited hands on deck but everyone is uh, when focused towards a common goal uh, i think then the result is always going to be positive right so i think that is something that's that's worked out in our favor so uh decimal ke kuch interesting features batao aap log like what has really worked or what are those sticky features and if you like to share some of the future कुछ आने वाला है दैट पीपल कैन लुक अप टू इफ दे आर वाचिंग दिस टुडे सो सो वेल आई मीन इट इज द बेस ऑफ द ऐप बट यू नो वी अलाउ इन्वेस्टमेंट्स ऑफ इवन रुपी वन राइट एंड दैट इज अ दैट इज दैट इज समथिंग दैट इज नॉट इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड इनिशियली कि एक रुपए का भी आप इन्वेस्ट कर सकते हो राइट का कॉस्ट होता होगा ना फिर आपके लिए इफ यू टेक दोस इन्वेस्टमेंट तो दैट वुड बी लाइक Yeah. you know business wise it would be sort of a strain yeah so um, again right one of the reasons why we took two years to ship the product was uh, primarily this one partnership that we were working with the bank for mm-hmm. uh, it would have costed us about 
18 to 1900 rupees per user per annum yeah. that's the cost that we would have to pay uh, you know to enable the entire process mm-hmm. and at that this thing we knew that we'd never ever even be uh, you know close to profitable mm-hmm. uh, so but again i think uh, the cost to get that distribution uh, was somewhere acceptable uh, back when we started out also uh, it was not something that we were very you know keen to explore was not a road that we wanted to actually go down um, we worked for 18 months for on this just one partnership 18 minus hum ek partnership pe kaam kar rahe the we got that cost down from 1900 rupees per user per annum to 5 rupees per user wow. per annum and because <laughs> so of that, that entrepreneur hustle that is solve yeah, those so problems 19 months of chasing one partnership right where you know we were not even sure i think after Five to six months. What starts happening is, you know, you start questioning that are they just stringing us along? Will this actually materialize? Should you keep going? One year goes by, right? That it's not going to happen until then. You know, and to I think that persistence to just keep going, right? Just persevere. That I have some faith, right? It just it comes down to faith that eighteen months, right? It'll take time. but this will materialize this is the only way to go i think one thing that also uh, worked for us was uh, we didn't have a lot of money uh, so i think uh, 12 mahine ke baad agar staying frustration bhi ha agar 12 mahine ke baad frustration bhi tha to we didn't have an option only ki chhodo yaar you know let's just bear that cost start ek thoda dekh lete hai theek hai jab ho jayega to ho jayega we couldn't go ahead without that partnership so we kept at it right 18 months of whether it was going down and sitting in their offices um, in bombay uh, you know at days at end without even being attended to uh, to coming back every day following up but uh, but yeah it took 18 months but we got that uh, partnership done uh, we got that cost down from 1900 to 5 rupees and i think that is the single biggest enabler uh, you know for to allow us to actually put this model out Okay. Yeah, and of course, reliance on like we uh, we work with what is the most convenient, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, right now, the mode of how investments happen that is also via your UPI. Mm-hmm. And it was a it was a shift from your usual uh, bank debits, right. bank account right. debits, but to be debited via UPI now, right? So, which is a more convenient right. uh, approach right. of uh, you know taking this forward and. with with the focus of making it the most convenient and easy and automatic process like that was a very important feature that you know we worked on and we have uh, in, uh, you know we use that now as uh, as our primary mode of investment so the entire upi ecosystem has uh, you know enabled us like so many fintechs are because right uh, of this entire upi the boom that there is right so uh, we have enable that to our benefit as well and that's how that's one of our primary features you could say okay the mode of investment okay so i believe matlab in the last 30 minutes maine ek bade acche acche lessons aap logon se abhi sikhe hain so i believe that you know you you guys have this treasure of business lessons that you've done and learned and executed so to our viewers what would be the top 3 lessons that come to your mind that you'd like to share and you know right like they should you know really stick to this and for me it's always ki never stop learning right you you learn something every day from someone from be it anyone be it anything right uh, the openness to have that uh, you know you need to have an open mind to take in anything and everything and that is very important uh, i feel uh, no matter at what stage not just with respect to uh, startups or uh, you know building out a product or anything but just the ability to uh, have an open mind about things understand things from others perspective it gives you just a lot of perspective right and uh, uh, you know it shapes your thought process in in many ways so having that open mindedness to learn mm-hmm. uh, and constantly keep learning is something that's very important uh, to me and uh again like we touched upon uh, uh you know talking to your customers that also goes very hand in hand one of my like our primary focuses has always been that so 
I mean, these two things primarily, you know, uh, what I follow, we follow, and yeah, hope that helps everyone else as well. I'll add the third one then. Uh, yeah. I think stay humble. Um, I think it's very important. Uh, you know, what generally happens is a little bit of success or, you know, a little bit of uh, product validation. Um, it's very easy for that to get to the head, mm-hmm. right? And uh, then the focus just derails, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and um, not saying that, you know, it's not happened to us. We've also made our fair share of mistakes, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, no one's immune to it. But um, I think that humility is uh, very important uh, to stay grounded. Um, you know, we have someone like uh, Ronak, who I take a great amount of inspiration from. who's the co-founder of Bombay Shaving Company uh, and the chief marketing officer. Also heads, uh, uh, you know, marketing at Decimal now. Um, I think that's, that's a lesson that I've learned from him. Uh, you know, for someone who co-founded Bombay Shaving Company, uh, you know, uh, it's a brand that yeah. all of us know, uh, but the sheer humility and the willingness to learn, uh, you know, even today, uh, you know, there are there are people, uh, our, the average age of our team is about uh, 23, mm-hmm. right? Uh, so people very young, mm-hmm. right? Uh, 21 year olds who, you know, might just have a suggestion uh, and uh, would go up to Ronak, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and also one is they feel comfortable enough, yeah. you know, to walk up to him and say, Hey, you know what? I have this suggestion. This is what we should do in marketing, mm-hmm. right? Uh, to give them a patient eye, I think uh, a patient here uh, to show them out, uh, you know, to reason with them to, and if you know if it makes sense to actually go ahead and implement it, uh, you know, uh, there's absolutely no ego, uh, and I think that's uh, something that uh, uh, I've observed very closely, and uh, something I think is very very instrumental, and uh, one should always keep in mind. Okay. Last question. Some personal habits, books, or authors or influencers that you follow, I would like to share. Oh man, I consume a lot of a lot of uh, information, even on the internet and otherwise. Also, um, you know, a couple of uh, I'm very very fond of reading. So a couple of uh, books, if you want to, you know, it's almost become cliche, but I think there's a reason why it's become cliche. Uh, you know, psychology of money. Uh, it mm-hmm. does not matter whether, you know, fintech, uh, it's about Common personal finance. finance. It's yeah. a book I think everyone should read. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been spoken about so much over the internet now and I think that's for good reason. Yeah. Uh, so, psychology of money is one book that I would recommend. Uh, another, from a personal habit, I think uh, something that's very, very important is... Uh, be physically active. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, you know, just have some, some form of activity outside of work, right? Um, So, Saw and I play a lot of football together. Uh, So, that's something that, uh, you know, keeps us Mm -hmm. on our, just, uh, you know, it's it's very important to have something outside of work, Uh, you know, play an instrument, uh, play a sport. Have a hobby. Have some. Have some. It's, it's, it's very easy, at least at our stage, right, for us uh, to get very, very co- completely consumed uh, by work. Right. So, I think that one part is very important. Right. You, yeah, I mean, essentially, you need that one thing wherein for that, say, one hour of you doing whatever you're doing, your mind is completely away from everything, right? Yeah. So, for me, that is football. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I play a bit of uh, the guitar as well. So music and uh, sports, right? Like that's something that's uh, very important. Uh, in fact, sports is how we met also. Oh, okay. uh, so it goes back a long way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Did you guys meet on the football field? Yes. yes. That's nice. <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, uh, you know, some sort of physical activity, some sort of some sort of hobby is uh, is very important in this day and age because like he said it's very easy to get consumed and you know uh, uh, you need that that one moment of you know where you're forgetting about everything else and just focusing on you or like that current environment and uh, just it's it's sort of a de-stress in itself right so it's it's extremely critical so who plays better <laughs> <laughs> we play the same position so no competition <laughs> Yeah. But he's younger, he plays better. <laughs> he runs more. <laughs> runs more. Guys, since you are Pune Kar entrepreneurs, I have a rapid fire for you. Ah, uh, let's start. Okay. So 
I'll say something and you have to give your prompt response. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you know, one time maybe we will start from here, then we'll come back. Okay. Weather. Beautiful. Great, the best. <laughs> Food, your favorite joint in Pune. Wow, this is a real tough one. Um, Rupali. Somewhere else. Traffic. Horrible now. Uh, engine towards Bombay traffic. Yeah, I agree. It's horrible as of today. Can get better. <laughs> okay. People of Pune. Oh, the best. And uh, with a very witty sense of uh, humor, you know. Like the typical Punekar lets you know that he's a Punekar with his words. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's such a distinct thing about uh, Punekars. I think it's that uh, wit, uh, you know, which is obnoxious also, which is offensive. <laughs> Uh, but it's it's said in a very genuine way. So one good thing and one bad thing compared to other metro cities. If you are building a company in Pune, or if you are building a company, um, I think the ecosystem is still uh, you know uh, not there yet in terms of uh, the networks, uh, the talent. Uh, so that's I think uh, it's it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's something that's uh, in progress. And uh, I think one good thing is uh, you know. Uh, with the number of colleges and everything, I think we had a lot of uh, good young talent, uh, yeah. which is there. And uh, I think the weather is great. Uh, real estate is uh, cheap. So I don't see any reason why you can't build a tech company at least out of Pune. Yeah, so. yeah definitely. So being the Oxford of the East uh, and of course for being a part of tech, like you get some of the best uh, young talent that you, you know, that's possible. So that's a great positive. Um, yeah, I mean, but uh, again, with uh, if you if there's one negative, it's not so much of a negative, but uh, you know, people don't usually associate startups with Pune. Mm-hmm. Again, uh, when people talk about like a fintech startup, people will automatically say Bangalore or or a, or any other city, right? Like, but Pune won't be on their top priority, and here we have to change that mindset. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. It's a wonderful session. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank Thank you so much.